All right, uh, bearings question. A, B, and C are three points on a horizontal field. A is 220 uh, meters due west of B. So, right, so north, south, east, west. So due west of B. So actually immediately that tells me this must be 90 degrees, right? If it's due west, it's a perfect 90 degrees west of B. X is a point on BC, okay, over here, such that uh, BX, 70 meters, CX, 100 meters, AX, 175 meters. Good, they labeled it all for us. Question one, uh, part A, calculate the bearing of C from B. So let's see, bearing of C from B, so we put the north at B, and then we want to get clockwise all the way until we hit C. So we are trying to find this. All right, conveniently, we already know this is 90 degrees. Maybe I can find this angle. Then I can take 360, subtract away 90, subtract away this angle. I will get this. Can I find, can I find this angle? Yes, I have three sides. I know all three sides. I can use cosine rule. I can use cosine rule. So I can find angle ABX. So let's say angle ABX. Let's, let's try to find AB, uh, uh, angle ABX. So um, it's always cosine of the angle in between, right? Cosine of this angle in between. So we can say 175 square equals to 220 square plus 70 square. And I'll write it down so it's clearer. So I can say using cosine rule, 175 square. We already know that side. So it's like, is this your A square basically? And then B square plus C square, which is 70 square minus 2 B C cosine the angle in between, which is the angle that you're trying to find ABX. Yep. So now we can rearrange this and solve for a ABX. Basically. Um, so we can just move things over. So we can say this is 175 square, subtract 220 square, subtract 70 square equals to negative 2. Okay. And we want to solve for this. So let's just divide, divide uh, both sides by this. So this is this whole thing times this, right? So we can divide by this. So we can say this simply divide by negative 2 times 220 times 70. Right, this is cosine ABX. All right, you key all of that into a calculator and take your uh, cosine inverse. You will see that ABX should give you 42.5. 91 degrees, put it at 5 SF for now, because we're not done yet. So it's 42.591. Okay, so yeah, I think we can find our bearing already. So we can say um, the bearing of C from B is simply 360 degrees, subtract away 90 degrees, right? We subtract away this 90, the, this one and then subtract away 42.591. And what we get is 227.4 degrees, 1 dp. Cool. Okay, and the next one, calculate the shortest distance from x to ab. So from, from x, to AB, so we drop the perpendicular, is what we usually know. So the shortest distance has to be a perpendicular. This is my shortest distance. Question mark. Can I solve for this? And thankfully, we know this side, and we know the angle in between, we already solved for it. So actually, we can use our Dwarka so to solve for it, right? Basically, we are looking at this triangle where we're we trying to find this side. We know this is 70 and we know this is 42.591. If you turn it around, you will see that this 
um, this is my hypotenuse and therefore uh, this is the angle that I know so this is the opposite side right so this is my opposite side and this is my adjacent side the side that is adjacent to this angle or next to this angle so I know my hypotenuse I'm trying to find my opposite sine so so oh right so if it's if I use sine I I involve opposite and hypotenuse so sine is the correct one to use so I can say that sine of uh, 42.591 degrees is simply my opposite side which is I don't know what it is so let's just call it um, of x okay so I'm, I'm going to call this uh, just anything you want really let's call it y <laughs> okay it's, um, yeah y okay so it's going to be x y opposite over hypotenuse which is 70 yeah it's like that like this is b this is y this is x so x y opposite over hypotenuse 70 so we want to find the shortest distance now so x y which is the shortest distance is simply 70 you multiply 70 on both sides and you get 47.4 meters 3SF.